Hello, my name is Dr. Ramit Lala Khomne. I am a consultant intensivist, a physician and a diabetologist. I have been working with the Kaushalya Medical Foundation Hospital in Thane as Director of Critical Care for past 3 years. I have been in the same profession of critical care and looking after few of the other ICUs in Mumbai since last 8 to 10 years. I am also a part of the Thane as well as the state COVID-19 task force and have been working for COVID-19 patients in and around the city for quite some time now. Today I will be talking about a very important topic. This topic is about a virus, the virus which has been spreading to most of our cities and most of, and, and most of the country since last one and a half to two months. The name of the virus is H3N2. This is not a new virus that we are going through, but it is the same old virus which has been there in the circulation since past many, many years. In fact, one of the pandemics of 1968 was of this virus, which is called as H3N2 virus. So what is this H3N2 virus? This virus is a uh, flu virus or what we call as an influenza virus. There are three to four types of influenza. There is influenza A, B, C and D of which influenza A has few other subtypes. One of which is influenza H3N2. So how does it spread? The most common way by it, the, by the way it spreads is by droplet infection. Now what is droplet infection? Whenever we are in contact with somebody and we sneeze or we cough, the droplets are released from our cough and sneeze and then they get spread into the air. And when this air which is, is inhaled by somebody at a distance of around 2 feet or when these droplets land onto somebody at a distance of around 2 feet, they get infected by inhaling these uh, droplets or inhaling these bits of air. So this is how the virus spreads and it spreads by what we call as uh, the droplet infection. It doesn't spread through the air. That means the virus is not present in the air. And if you are moving about in the city which has an outbreak of virus, it doesn't mean that the air is polluted with the virus or something and it will not cause you the infection. So the most common symptoms here to list will be cold, cough, fever, body ache, malaise, sore throat, itching in the throat or irritation in the throat, sometimes even difficulty in swallowing or difficulty in gulping down your food. And also there will be other symptoms like sometimes diarrhea, uh, severe uh, body ache and people who progress through this upper respiratory tract or the symptoms of the throat may go on to develop little bit of breathlessness. This is the time when we have to alert ourselves. One important point where the uh, Indian Council of Medical Research has also come out here is that since it is a viral illness, for most of the flu during an outbreak, we do not need antibiotics. So antibiotics are strongly discouraged and what you need is only antivirals and there's specific antivirals for these kind of flu viruses for, for, or for the H3N2. So you need to get in touch with your doctor for H3N2 related antivirals and try to avoid antibiotics as much as possible. Yes, you can do some home remedies like steam, gargling or doing something, uh, uh, some decongestions or uh, inhalations that is all accepted. But uh, going on to antibiotics unnecessarily within the first or second day of fever is strongly discouraged. And what you need even in the first or second days of fever is with a doctor's prescription prescribing you a specific antiviral for the same. So these are the things what you should be watching for as the symptoms of this virus and as well as for the complicated symptoms of this virus. The precautions, what, what precautions we should uh, take for uh, this. The precautions are same, the same age old precautions what we used to do all the last three years for COVID-19. Because both of them are respiratory viruses. However, they, though both of them belong to different categories, they are both respiratory viruses. The precautions would be the same. You should have and follow respiratory etiquettes and hand hygiene etiquettes. What do you mean by respiratory etiquettes is you should, uh, whenever you sneeze or cough, you should use a handkerchief or a tissue paper and dispose of them very properly. You should use a mask in crowded places. Whenever you are in a crowded um, atmosphere or whenever you are uh, in with your elderly, you should wear a mask properly. The mask should be properly worn. Even a simple uh, cloth mask is enough. So social distancing again is very important, keeping a two feet away distance from people, unnecessarily not mixing uh, is, is what we are uh, looking forward to prevent the spread of this virus. However, there are no uh, uh, such uh, limitations, for example, of travel restrictions. There are no 
specific quarantine restrictions that are advised for this virus because it is still a seasonal flu though in the recent outbreak there are increased number of cases but they are not to the epidemic or a pandemic level so isolation uh, is not that which is recommended from the government and neither uh, it is uh, specifically needed or even for that matter of say covid so basically how to differentiate whether it is a uh, covid 19 or h3n2 infection clinically or looking at the symptoms it is difficult to tell whether the initial symptoms of cold cough and fever or body ache or even wheezing or breathlessness that you are getting are maybe because of covid or influenza because both of them are respiratory virus both of them have the similar symptoms both of them have the similar kind of uh, profile however covid as we had seen is a more kind of a serious virus it has more lethality it has more morbidity and comorbidity and it can present drastically and catastrophically so a more milder form of uh, uh, infection would be with influenza rather than with covid however both covid as well as influenza are coexisting in the environment now and you may get a, a covid infection uh, concurrent with the influenza infection also we have been having patients who are having both infections simultaneously at the same time so rt pcr test is what we used to do during the times of covid there are similar rt pcr tests available at all the uh, metro cities and most of the places in the country so we can do an rt pcr test for h3n2 as well as H, uh, h1n1 these days what we get a novel flu panel or or a package where uh, all the viruses including the covid is tested in a one single go so we do not have to go for every time different test so the best thing is would be to follow your doctor's advice and start treatment very properly and at very uh, early times so this is it for h3n2 thanks and thanks for the patient listening take care